up, Super Players? We got Alpha Saiyan right here with a pretty interesting deck to show off. So, show us your deck. So, what's up, guys? Uh, take Brad Toa. Ooh, look at that. Toa. Uh, but brought it to the locals. Um, got second place. You uh, pulled it or what? Uh, yeah, from the anniversary box. Damn. So, got lucky. So, I've been wanting a Toa leader since to come out since like since the beginning of Dragon Ball Party. So, now that we have her, so it's pretty cool. Ooh. Gonna make some fun decks. Hell yeah. So of course like burst three from the unawakened side. You middle the top three cards of your deck and you search your top five for a few or a, or a mirror. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah, and like um, when you have ten black cards in your warp, then you untap one and draw a card in your awaken. Of course we're like we're shining the most honestly. Yeah, the card looks super good. Yeah, not only it looks good, it's pretty good. Oh is it? Yeah, so you choose three black cards from your warp, you put them back to your drop area, which is good when you're trying to play more overall. So since you can't burst no more on the awakened side, then this, this is the the skill that really matters the most. Okay. It's like you paint one, you discard a card, and during other player's turn, uh, during battle, you could take away um, a skill from a battle card. So what? During either player's turn? Yeah, because it says um, active battle, so as long as it's during battle. So what? So, what are those? What's the main one that you would take out? Uh, dual attack, double strikes. Oh, that's that's what it takes out. Critical, the red ones. Yeah, yeah. I can't stop the victory strikes. So because it's or can't. Well, it could if um if the actual victory uh, if the ultra instinct um didn't say um it can negate its skills. Oh, okay. Yeah, but but it does take away keyword skills. Yeah, that's what shines the most. Okay. That's pretty darn crazy. All right. So like for the one draw lineup, I play my two Kronoa, uh draw a card, and Mira is the main key card of the of the deck. So you don't want your stuff to get you guess Kid Goku. Oh yeah. And of course the other two are. Kami, so the deck does suffer against aggressive decks, decks that go wide. So you play this and you tap two energy and you blow up the field four costs or less. Oh yeah. So pretty cool because the black negate that I play recycles these guys. Oh yeah. Adds them back from warp and drop. As long as you can use your life, usually you're a highlight for Toa when you're awakened, so it's pretty good. And then we play our cheap overall package. So I play the three Kai's. You look at the you look at the top three and you just um add a battle card and you place your other two to the bottom of the deck. So usually this could be a turn one play. Or it could be there's other guys you turn one play. So this guy's really sick. So you overall turn one, you burst three, you add a few or ma or a mirror, uh -huh. then you overall. So then you mill another three, but the reason you mill another three is so next turn you, you just overrun one more time and you'll be awake and guaranteed. Oh shoot. Yeah, so not only that it's critical, so really good pressure. You don't wanna you wanna deny resources to your opponent. So that's like the cheap overall package. And of course I had a grind for these. Oh shoot. Those are the the special ones, huh? Yeah, they're from the event pack. No, not event pack, but for the new some new pack. The so, championship packs? Yeah, I only I'm only running three because I only have three. Uh, if I had another one, I had to add it back to, into the deck because um, it's your form of drawing. So the cool part about this is that once per turn when you over them, so whenever you over them, uh, you you place two cards from your warp or I think drawbury and then no just from your warp and seven cards or less. So into your deck, no, bottom of the deck, and you draw a card. So pretty good. If your opponent doesn't get rid of this, you're just pressing every single time. Oh you shoot! It's once per turn, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's not, it's not like, it's not a no. Every time you use over round. Yeah. So basically, every single time, once per turn. That's pretty darn good. Holy yeah. cow! No wonder you need four of those. Yeah, you need multiple. Do so they stack? Like if you have two on field, you'll draw two for yeah. one over round. So there are times we had two or three, and I'll just draw three cards. What? It's pretty good. And um, you, you since, since um, you mill your mirror sometimes. So you use them to recycle them back in your deck. And of course your super combo choice. Uh, oh yeah. Usually on by turn two, so good against aggressive deck. Of course the removal part, I have the four of you. Uh, cool, cool fact, uh, searchable by Toa, by the unawakened side. Oh yeah, huh? So searchable by Toa, so one energy, you remove a battle, you warp a battle card, so it's really good against the uh, everything basically that doesn't have barrier. And your my other removal just two mass hands. Uh, like I said, um, 
it, it, it's good against um, Vanilla Pooh because you, you get rid of multiple targets. And of course, you just get rid of uh, battle cards as well. You can't get rid of blockers, so it just sucks. And then the Toa package, I play four of this girl. And it's Dark Overrun, so you just need four in the drop rate to four black cards. You pay for one, and you take control of one of your opponent's battle cards, three costs or less. So for one energy, you can take away a uh, dirty key vanilla, uh, and anything else, three costs or lower. It comes to your field. Pretty good. Yeah, it's stole Psyche Demons and like all that stuff. Oh, wow. And the other one that takes control, the other Toa. Oh, the one from the expansion set? Yeah, had him foil, so had a player foil. Oh, what? And same thing, but for free, you just take two costs or lower. So you use these as materials for Mira to okay. absorb. Cool thing is that against the Broly matchup, you take away their one drop Broly. Oh shoot! Then they can't evolve. Then they can't evolve, and you just put pressure to their their. That's pretty suit. interesting. All right. Then you play the Mira package. So good turn one play as well as your cheap overrun. Your burst three and your overrun turn one. Your opponent discards a card. So they had they start up basically they start up basically with low hand. Yeah. And it's basically more. Uh, more hand, basically hand destruction, but more cheap overall. So here comes the new. Oh, the one from the anniversary box. Yeah. So what it does is when you have 10, 10 in the this is energy caused by one, so it becomes a four drop. So what you do is when you play this card, uh, you could swing first. This is twenty k double strike, and then um, you could union absorb a Toa to bring out union absorb a Toa. Oh, the OG double, like the beast, right? The big one? No, like the big, the big guy. <laughs> so, when you play this through Union Absorb or or through, basically just through Union, your opponent has to warp three battle cards from their hand. So, Damn. Not only that, from that, it's a 30k double strike, but when it attacks, it gains, um, uh, I think it gains 5,000 for every single warp card. Woo! So you could be a beast heavy hitter, huh? Yeah, usually it gets up to like 60k, 40k just by its own. And the last card? And the last card is um another way to bring out um, Overrun Mira. So technically, this is this, but you could you, you have to overrun this one and pay for it. And the only reason I play it is because there are times where I bring these two out and um, they're on the field and they get rid of him. They warp them away or they kill him. So then you have another way to bring them out. Next turn I bring him back and they had to warp another three. Good. And there you guys have it. The last beast of the Alpha Saiyan. And you got any other deck profile shout outs you want to do real quick? My little brother, because he's the one who made the deck. I just oh, yeah? Added, yeah, yeah, I just added a couple cards. They did pretty good, too, so uh, yeah. it's a freaking powerful leader. Yeah, got the ideas from other videos, so try to, thought I'd test it out, and it could be a pretty good deck. There you guys have it. And uh, make sure to follow him. You do have this on your Instagram, don't you? Yeah, I have the mini deck profile. So if you guys want to get a little mini deck profiles, a little small version of these real quick on the go, hit up his Instagram. Link will be in the description. So is his YouTube. All right, and like we always say, y'all stay super. There you go.